Before COVID-19, lunchtime and weekends were usually busy times, of course, for restaurants around the tri-state. In Sharonville, they're hoping an annual restaurant tasting tour will keep the customers coming through the doors, or standing by outside at least. WCPO 9 News reporter Lisa Smith checked out a few stops on that tour that made the transition from sit-down to carry-out. At the Athenian, authentic Greek gyros are in demand. We make our own special sauce and it has been handed down for a few years. Bill Kanalopoulos' dad started the Sharonville restaurant in 1976. Now he's a co-owner and doing what it takes to stay open. I have vegetable meat today, yes. Uh, there's times where, yes, it, it can get busy, yeah. It's about getting people into the door for the first time to these restaurants. The Athenian is one of 20 independent restaurants on Sharonville's food train. It kicked off this week to encourage people to try the city's specialty eateries, but the train almost didn't leave the station. We thought, you know, what should we do? You know, do we need to postpone it? And then the more we thought about it, we thought, no, like this is the perfect time. For some small businesses, the decision to stay open has been a difficult one, but many have found it to be the right one. Like Victoria Reddy at Already Cafe. I didn't know. She says loyal customers looking for her homemade pastries and specialty coffee keep her open. I even had a customer come through. It was the first day with tears and gave my daughter and says, you know, I, you know, and just the tips have been big. People are just, I don't care what you give me. Here's $50. Meanwhile, Wing Champ is one of Sharonville's newer restaurants open for only six weeks. And in the restaurant business, you're always open to curveballs, and we had this curveball thrown at us. Bar services stopped, so is weekend entertainment, but owner Liz Rogers says the homemade Southern style cooking remains. We're putting uh, a lot of great uh, specials in place for our customers that are out of work right now that may not be able to afford what they normally would be able to afford. She says they're in this together. In Sharonville, Lisa Smith, WCPO 9 News. By the way, if you visit 10 restaurants on the Sharonville food train, you're going to get a free t-shirt. The food train runs through December, so there is some time. We're open Cincinnati, by the way, is our new initiative here at WCPO 9, and we are highlighting how local restaurants, bars, and other businesses are finding creative ways to still serve customers out there. And if you know a deserving business, send us a message on WCPO.com.